Hey everybody, Matt Gardner here. So I've had a lot of requests on how I go about setting up WordPress websites. Uh, the reasons being, you know, WordPress is still a great platform to create everything from, you know, blogs to landing pages to using WooCommerce instead of Shopify because, you know, there's a lot of things about Shopify that, you know, turn a lot of people off. And if you're drop shipping, you got to worry about Shopify holding your money, reserves, and that type of stuff. But the problem with WordPress is that it can be brutally slow with really, really long page load times. And what that means is you'll get a lot of page bounce. Uh, you know, folks will come visit your page. It'll take too long to load and they'll leave before ever getting to see what you're offering there. But uh, I have a way here that you could pretty much create the fastest WordPress install that you can possibly make. And the example I'm doing here today, this is actually for WooCommerce. And to do this, you'll just need a couple of things. You're going to need an account with Linode. That's linode.com. You'll need an account with ServerPilot, which is serverpilot.io. You'll need the free account with Cloudflare. We're going to use them for our DNS. And of course, you'll need a domain from, you know, whatever domain provider you have. This one doesn't matter. You know, Namecheap, anything like that would be fine. Just need to have your domain ready to go. Now, the first thing that you want to do is actually import your domain into Cloudflare. And Cloudflare, I, you'll see I already did this because it takes like an hour to propagate and I didn't want to wait so I can make the video. Uh, once you go ahead and you add a new site, so you add site in Cloudflare, you know, it'll run through your records, it'll pull everything up. And then what you want to do is just hit the X's and just delete everything that's in here. And I'll show you what to do with it from there. And also you'll see that Cloudflare will give you their name servers. So you'll need to go into your, whoever you bought the domain from, and go into the DNS management for that domain. You'll see this is just an example domain I've got here. And change the name servers to the ones that Cloudflare has given you. The next step that you're going to want to do is go into Linode, and you're going to want to add a Linode. So this is what it will look like. Now for me, I'm going to be using this for a WooCommerce site. So I'm going to want it to be pretty quick. Uh, I will probably go with this one here, the uh, 30 gigs of storage, one CPU, two terabyte of transfer, at least to start, you know, you can always upgrade in the future. Uh, so I'll grab this one right here. You'll see it's only 10 bucks a month, which for as fast as this hosting is, it's a cloud-based VPS. It completely blows away all the other hosting that charge five times more than this. And for your location, so I'm in New Jersey. This is the closest one to me. Just choose whatever's closest to you. This will just help you for when you're like uploading files and stuff like that. And then hit add this Linode. Now, of course, you'll have to add your billing details in there and all that stuff, but you know, there's really nothing to worry about here. It's pretty cheap. So the next thing that you're going to want to do in order to use the server pilot to do your installs for you, because this is Linux based, it's not like other hosting plans. Like this is what developers use. That's pretty much why it's so fast. But you know, you lose all of the easy installs and all that stuff. But server pilot will help out with that. The next thing that you want to do is actually go into the Linode that you just created and you want to deploy an image. So because we're actually using server pilot, there's a few things that we need to do as of the time of you know, this recording, uh, 9917, you need to change the image. And I believe it's going to be this one here, the Ubuntu 14.4 LTS is the one that we want. Deployment to size, you can leave that alone. The swap disk, you actually want to max that out to 512. And you want to create a password. This is going to be your root password, guys. So make sure it's not something somebody can easily guess. Then just hit deploy. And you'll see down here, it's going through everything. And this should just take a few more seconds. And we should be almost there. Perfect. So now the next thing that you want to do is actually boot this thing up. You just hit the boot button right here. Hit OK. And you'll see down here it's booting up the system for the very first time. This is literally a virtual server, guys. Your own virtual server that you're not sharing with somebody like you do in the other hosting plans. OK, so now that that was successfully done, what we actually want to do is back out. Just want to go to the dashboard real quick and see what the IP is. Uh, there's a way to find it in here, but I forget you know, off the top of my head. So I just go to my dashboard. 
for my Linodes. And this one, here's my IP right here. I just want to copy that. And then we head back over to Server Pilot. Okay. All right, so inside of Server Pilot, once you create your account here, you want to choose Servers. And then up here, the green button for Connect to Server. So this is where you'll paste in your IP. This is where you want to put in that root password, the one that you made when you created your Linode server. And this is also where you create an SFTP password. Again, guys, make sure you use something pretty secure. If you have LastPass, LastPass can generate a secure password for you, which is something I probably should be doing. But I'm going to change all this stuff later. This is just for the sake of time right now. Okay, so this usually takes about 30 seconds or so. We'll just let this run. Okay, should be almost there. Taking a little longer than usual. Hopefully everything's going okay. Okay. So it's starting the server configuration. Basically what it's doing is putting in all the information and all the control files and everything like that that we're going to need in order to run WordPress on here. And then once this is done, we can actually do the WordPress install and go from there okay great so it looks like it's all done we'll just hit the create app button and now basically this is going to be our WordPress install so what I'm gonna put here this is just gonna be WooCommerce site I don't want to give you guys the name of that but uh, for now this is not the actual domain that this is gonna be for I'm gonna use the kit university website that's something I wasn't even doing it with anything with anymore so just kind of sitting in my account and I've already got that set up in here and then I want to make sure you check the box here for WordPress my WordPress site and for now I'm just gonna put an example again I'll be going in here later and I'll be changing all of this stuff and sorry for the sensor I'm gonna have to uh, blur some of this stuff out. <laughs> I'll use the uh, system user, I'll just set that to server pilot, and then I'll create the app. Oh, that's right, it's for the name, I don't know what the problem is, but it has to be all lowercase. All right, great. So this thing is gonna go ahead and install. It's actually really, really fast. Um, what we need to do now, though, is actually point our site to this thing. So what we can do is we grab our server IP once again here, and we go up into the DNS for the Cloudflare account. Now, what we need to change here is CNAME. We need to put an at symbol, and we need to put that IP in there, add that record. All right, so it's giving me trouble. Let's try doing this. Okay, so that's not what we want. And again, guys, I'm just doing this from memory, <laughs> so hopefully I get it right. Put kit university.com and that record uh, CNAME content cannot reference itself let's see was it a C name or any, it might be an A name that we actually need all right so it is an A name A name at symbol then the IP add that record and then another A name www and the IP add that record and basically what that 
does is if anybody types into their browser the domain just without the www it'll forward to the proper server and if they do have the www in front of it it will still forward to the proper server now there's a bunch of other things that you can do once you're inside of cloudflare to actually make this thing go much faster you know messing around with the caching and the speed and stuff like that also the page rules too but uh, that'll have to be a video for another day i just wanted to do this real quick to show you how this works and let me just try and see if we can log in there and see if it's ready yet. So what we want to do is your standard WordPress login. And there it is. It's ready for us to log in already that quick. And guys, this thing is blazing fast. I mean, if you've gone to my blog, if you've seen my blog, I probably have one of the fastest WordPress blogs on the Internet. And it's because I use the process that I just showed you. And again, I'm going to be using this store you just seen me create for a WooCommerce store. Oh, let me go ahead and log in here. But this thing is perfect for blogs, especially if you're doing marketing blogs or affiliate blogs because you want it to be super fast, you know, for all your traffic coming in. It's also really, really good if you want to do landing pages, like if you're using a plugin like Thrive Architect or something like that instead of paying for ClickFunnels and, you know, just pretty much everything WordPress can do. And you'll see how fast that is for yourself once you actually do it. Now, if you do want to see everything that I'm doing for my business, this is one of the things. We're going to be having a live event on Saturday, September 16th, I believe. Let me make sure. Yes, so the Sunday, September 16th at 10 a.m. Eastern. It's going to be an eight-hour event. And we're going to be recording it, so if you can't make it, that's fine, too. But there will be a recording. Uh, if you guys are interested, I'll drop the link down below in the video here. And, uh, you know... That thing's going to pretty much cover everything, including what I'm doing here, including how we're doing affiliate stuff, how we're using landing pages for our stores, and pretty much how our business is doing so well. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.